This movie is terrible. This movie is very easily going on the worst of list at the end of the year. And wow. I am shocked. I, for one, am shocked that you like this. We are hot and tasty and fresh out of the toaster for you with our review of Unfrosted, the perfect movie for us to review here at Breakfast All Day. Like, if we're not doing this, we are not doing our job. It's a yeah. movie about a breakfast pastry, which I guess you could eat any time of day. Oh, and I can, believe me, and, <laughs> and would and will. Um, yeah, this is, this is a very breakfasty movie. The Post Cereal Company has reportedly invented a shelf-stable fruit pastry breakfast product. No. Yeah. Boy. Jerry Seinfeld is starring and co-writing and directing, and this is a completely not fact-based look at how the Pop-Tart was invented. Um, it's a very, very silly film set in the early 1960s in Battle Creek, Michigan, where Kellogg's and Post are battling it out for the soul of the American breakfast. And both of them are trying to rush to market with um, a toaster pastry and trying to figure out, uh, you know, how to invent it, what to call it. And uh, the cast of comedians runs uh, deep and thick here. You've got uh, Melissa McCarthy, you've got Jim Gaffigan, Amy Schumer, uh, you know, uh, an incredible ensemble of folks. Uh, this movie is ridiculous and kind of knows it. And it's look, I, I'm going to say this. I am predisposed to like this movie because like Jerry Seinfeld, I am obsessed with breakfast cereal and breakfast products uh mascots of the 60s and 70s especially so any movie that gives me hugh grant as thorough ravenscroft as tony the tiger i'm kind of already halfway in the bag so is this movie as funny as it could be no if it should it be a lot funnier given how completely absurd and not tethered to reality it is certainly yes a case can be made was i nonetheless entertained by the sight of um people testing out pop tarts in a lab not unlike something that nasa would do or the idea that uh there's an award show uh based on cereal or that there's a special cereal funeral that involves funeral sized cornflakes being dumped into the uh the the empty you know the 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 hole what do they call that grave the grave thank you yes uh <laughs> and and with milk pouring on that makes the coffin float i mean it's ridiculous but i mostly had a good time so I'm not like going to like, you know, die on the hill of Unfrosted, but I'm glad I saw it. This movie is terrible. <laughs> this movie is very easily going on the worst of list at the end of the year. And wow. I am shocked. I, for one, am shocked that you like this because so much of the humor comes from that brand of here's a thing, you know, or <sighs> here's a person, here's a person you like showing up for like two seconds and saying two lines. And I know how much you hate that really lazy, easy brand of like the comedy of recognition. Mm. It's so hacky and so like just, just not even trying. And what a mind boggling waste of talent in this film. Tony Hale gets literally two lines. <laughs> Peter Dinklage shows up. I'm like, Oh good. Here comes Peter Dinklage. And what they have him do is just a whole lot of nothing. Um, it is so weird too, in its anachronism because yes. so much of it is very specifically rooted in like 1963 right. middle America from the cars to the clothes to the production design. You know, well, Fruity Pebbles didn't come around until 1971. I know. I mean, a <laughs> lot of, I mean, we're not even scratching the surface here. Like, there's <laughs> musical choices that don't come out till way later. But sure. like, then they take wild swings that do not work at all. There is an entire January 6th segment here. Okay. And I don't know how you joke about January 6th, but this is not it. Like what they do, and I, I'm not going to give away how it happens, but like they invoke specific people and things that were said that day in a jokey manner involving the Kellogg's headquarters. And I'm just like, I cannot believe that I am watching this. <laughs> it is so distasteful. I thought it kind of worked. I mean, like oh. I, it was, I know it was a stretch and it's the kind of, it's the kind of comedy that Jerry Seinfeld says you can't do anymore. Uh, but I, he's doing it. He's doing it. And, <laughs> and I, it kind of worked for me. Like, again, I'm not going to defend this movie, but people are shitting on it so hard. And I guess by people, I mean you also, and I'm like, come on, this movie is, it is so clearly just here to be a goofy gag machine. And yes, it, it is indulging in, the 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 humor of recognition but i think it's doing something with it there are some cameos in this movie that i was like oh wow they got 
that person to play that character. And I won't spoil it, but I was like, yeah, all right, a golf clap movie. I'm impressed. You know, it should have been probably like four times as gag filled because it's all about gags. It is in no way representing the truth of any of no. this or how these things got invented or the truth of 1963 for that matter. I mean, like I was playing spot the anachronism, but I was like, oh, this movie doesn't care. So whatever. Um, and, you know, given how many sort of product biopics we were assaulted with mm -hmm. in the last year, I'm like, fine, let's do one that has, that doesn't even try to pretend like it's really telling the true story because I'm sure all of these are fudging little things here and there, whether it's air or blueberry or Tetris or whatever. This one is just like, eh, fuck it. We're, we're not even, we're not even pretending like this is, this is close to the truth, but I don't know. I was, I was entertained enough. It was a, if I would paid to see this in a the theater, I think I might have been annoyed about it. But as a thing that popped up on Netflix, it's like, okay, there's, there's some laughs here. Uh, a couple things. I did not laugh a single time. Okay. I think I smiled once or twice. Um, the, the fact that this is coming after all of those corporate origin stories, I believe is just sort of coincidental timing. Maybe. Because I think it was in the works for like a few years, like early days COVID. Um, so I think it just happens to have come out and it feels like a parody of that structure, mm -hmm. but that might just be a, a timing thing. Um, but you could make something far more nutritious, far more <laughs> delicious with your Lodge cast iron cookware. Yes, ma'am. Any, any flavor of pop tart i do enjoy <laughs> pop tarts myself um but you could scramble up something nutritious and delicious very very easily we have a deal with our friends at lodge a great link to them down below they have a sale going on right now through may 12th up to 20 percent off on all of their usa enamel so those nice. big dutch ovens make some chili make some soup i promise you anything you make with your lodge cookware is better than the unfrosted movie well, I can guarantee I mean, you that. If we're going to put those two things on a scale, yes, <laughs> for sure. Lodge, anyway, link to Lodge them down below. Win, and they're part of this complete breakfast. They really are. Um, so a couple things. Yes, the cameo you're referring to was vaguely amusing, mm -hmm. but kind of also took me out because it is something else that we know that is different. Sure. Uh, secondly, Bill Burr is pretty good as JFK yeah. because he is from there and he gets the accent right. Yeah. Everybody doing JFK gets the accent wrong. But again, he's reduced to like, oh, look, he's horny. <laughs> the double mint twins are there to have a threesome with him well but ah. there, no there's also there's also a joke about the cuban missile crisis <laughs> yeah that's true and so they're trying to wedge this in with like other historical events and i don't know i just found it desperate and flat and a very very frustrating waste of an incredible ensemble of talent like Fred Armisen, what is he doing? Like, okay, so Jim Gaffigan, this is the kind of humor they have all throughout this thing just to show you, hey, we're in the 60s. Jim Gaffigan's reading the newspaper and he goes, Vietnam, huh? That sounds like a good idea. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a throw it wasn't. It's a throwaway joke, though. I mean, my God, but they're he, all like that. He's 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 playing a character named Edsel Kellogg. I mean, like mm. they're you know, it, I don't know. I like you said. I can't defend this movie. All I know is I laugh. Maybe you have to be somebody like me who owns a complete set of freaky magnets or something that is like you're really into breakfast cereal, you know, marketing to find this amusing. But I was amused. Also, this is Jerry Seinfeld's directorial debut. His feature directorial debut, he has done some television. Mm. He's directed some Colin Quinn stuff. Um, and I just found that everything is lighted in the same kind of flat, hot, white way. So maybe there's some craft in the production design, et cetera, but it all kind of looks the same it, it, in a television kind of way. It I does, know. but I think the whole thing is lit to look like a TV commercial. Uh, I mean, I'm going to. Uh, it's I'm, a choice, I, I say. I'm going to give him the, a bit of a credit here that I think maybe this was the idea behind it. But you're right. I mean, apart from like the scene where the cows are, it is it is all very bright and shiny throughout. Oh, um, I forgot the cow scene. And also the funeral scene is just desperately unfunny. <laughs> It's just so off tonally. I don't know. I'm just shocked that you enjoy anything about this. I, you know, I look, I, I laughed some, <laughs> you know, I, okay. I, it's, it's better than B movie. Um, mm. but you know, not as good as movie 43. I don't know what to tell you here. I was, I What's had, your number then? How is it like a 6.2? You know, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I'm going to say a 1.5. Okay. Because some of the costume production design was solid, you know, very 
detailed and specific and all that. And I enjoyed a couple of the little cameos. All right. Um, this is on Netflix, but so are a thousand other things. You have many, many choices. <laughs>